everyone. Good morning from the Philippines. Another dreary, rainy day, but it's so humid and hot. It's still, still very early in the morning and I'm already sweating. Yesterday we got a new jackhammer. This is number four for us since, when was that, May? April, May, when did we start? June. We left. I think we started in May. Okay. So this one's number four. Hmm. It's nice and pretty. Hasn't been used yet. And you can see how long the bit is compared to that, which is the bits I've been sharpening from the other ones. Uh, they're in super hard stuff right now, so I gotta sharpen it sometimes every day. That's you can see how dull that and blunt that is. That's from uh, one day yesterday of one guy using it. This one here is our original jackhammer. That's, we use it for parts now. You can see how oblong dull that is <laughs> in there. Wow. So that one's that one there seen better days. Like I say, I just, I use it for parts. And these three here are the Kawasaki jackhammers. They're not originals, they're fakes. I don't know where they're fake from, but they're not original Kawasaki's and we bought two of the Kawasaki's and then I thought let's try a different one so I went and bought the DeWalt the DeWalt is the newest one we have other than this brand new one we just got and we've had a lot of problems with that one I would not recommend that DeWalt jackhammer to anybody the only advantage to that one was it came with its own brushes or as everybody says here, carbon brush that can be replaced when the brushes go bad. But when they got here, the one brush was already broken in half, so it was no good anyways. So it, it didn't benefit us by getting the carbon brushes with it. And as you can see, it's leaking oil. The, a lot of this stuff fell apart. Like where the brushes go in, I have to have tape on there because the bolts came out and they didn't know it. So then the cover comes off. So I got to use tape to hold the, the remaining part in there. There's bolts falling out all over the place. The, the lock here is broke. So I had to put tie wire there to keep the, the bit from falling out all the time. So I would not recommend that to walk to anybody. But uh, the Kawasaki has been holding up pretty good. Man, that, that one's fake. They're all fake. They're all fake. Yeah, they're none of them are original. They're all fakes. So. But this is the newest one. They're all the same that we got the three Kawasaki. Kawasaki. And that's the model number. The only thing I have to complain about the Kawasaki's is they don't package them very well. So so they get here, the boxes are all beat to hell. I mean beat to hell. It was already open when it came here. The styrofoam was all missing broken here there but we don't use the box anyway so like I guess that's my only complaint about them but I'm gonna try and show you this one after one day of use down in the five foot hole to see it won't look near as pretty when it's done today but we, we buy them to use not to look pretty and as you can see by this first one it got me I mean it is beat up there's, but it doesn't look near as beat as that at the wall that's had very little use to it. Yeah. I, think I, I just had all that out yesterday. That's why I needed a part inside. Didn't put the bolts back in. So, but this, this Kawasaki here has been through a lot and it's still going good. That was our second one we bought. Very tough. Well, we didn't put any brushes in. Nothing was done to this one. And the handle's all beat. You can see the handle's all bent up and twisted. It's supposed to be straight there, but it still goes. And like I say, I gotta, I gotta start sharpening bits because the workers are getting here, and that uh, Dewalt is a dull one. What happened to that like this? It's wore off from the, this, uh, the collar of the handle going up all the time uh, from them pushing. See, they use their foot to push instead of their hand. Once you get more 
more strength or more power behind it by pushing with her foot. So, so at the end of the day, we'll try and show you what this brand new shiny thing looks like after one day of use. So that's it for now. So as you see, I don't really have a, a workbench per se. So the Yeti cooler works about as good as anything. Gets me up off the ground. It's sturdy, doesn't wobble. Nice and strong. That's for me to sharpen the, the bits on. I just sit in a chair and sharpen away. Usually spend about a half hour to 45 minutes every day sharpening bits. That's, that's the life of this retired guy. The mode of the sharpening bits for jackhammers. But somebody's got to do it. So might as well be me. Okay, so here's the end of the day for the guys jackhammering. I want to show you what the new jackhammer looks like after one day. Say about eight, seven. They work for eight hours. But probably six or seven hours of jackhammering in a hole five foot by five foot by five foot so here's the new jackhammer got a little wear to it already in one day that's the older one we had this morning now I just want to show you why what I have to do every morning you see that bit I'm not sure if you can see just how dull that is or how mushroomed over that is that's <laughs> a brand new bit from this morning okay and you can see the, the height difference between I'll stand them up here that's the height difference between a new one and an old one. That's how much I've ground off of this one. Wow. They were all the same size when they started. But, anyways, that's the mushroomed off part of the bit from them using it. And then they changed over at some point to this bit, which is also mushroomed over like crazy. And this bit is also mushroomed over like crazy. I'm really not sure if you can tell by the videos how bad these are. And also this one is mushroomed over. And the one on the other jackhammer they used all day. So either tonight or tomorrow morning, I got five bits that I gotta sharpen with a grinder. And more work. So, more work for that medicine. So that the guys can jackhammer and make some progress. And I get dirty all the time by touching everything, of course. That's what guys do, right? Get dirty. Get dirty and drink beer. So it's late and I'm just getting home and done for the day from driving around so I'm gonna go pop open a beer for my wife because I know she's thirsty and I might start sharpening blades or bits for the jackhammers so that's it for the first day of the Kawasaki jackhammer and all the bits that it went through so have a wonderful day